When you visit Broad Ripple, you might see a new mobile truck called New Element Barber. Inside, you'll find a fresh new style and a familiar face. And it started on my front porch on 40th and Carrollton. Yes, here in Broad Ripple. That's Antoine Booker. He's no stranger to Indy or to cutting hair. From tight hair designs to hot towel facials, he's a professional barber. When I was in college, I had flyers made in Terre Haute called Cuts by Twan. And Antoine got his nickname, Cuts, from cutting lots of hair at Indiana State University. Now he cuts the hair for the players at the NFL Combine yearly. But buying and working from this vehicle is a first. And I never would have thought that I had a mobile barber truck until 2015. That's it. True story. And it's his dream come true. It has music, candy for kids, drinks, and more. Anyone can get a luxurious haircut on wheels. He opened this mobile barber shop in October 2020, mid-pandemic. And Antoine says he's already seen tons of customers. <laughs> I'm, like Honestly, hundreds. I'm serious. Each time, people experience down-to-earth, authentic interactions. He's having a rough day. First time meeting this guy, we cut the music off. We click like that, we were just talking. And he was like, man, I'm so glad I got my hair cut. I, I, I was going through something, didn't know what it was, made me feel good. I need this hair cut, didn't even know you. And glad I booked my point, I promise. He's been here about five times since then. And okay, people leave you. with more than just a fresh haircut, but a fresh perspective and confidence boost. Like, it's like it's not like a normal barber shop. We just go, oh, I got a great place or something, something special. Kick up your feet and take their word for it. This is somewhere where you can come and enjoy yourself and have a wonderful experience. And he's for the community. His customers say Antoine's work ethic goes beyond the money he makes and starting a new business yeah, during the pandemic. Yes, I'm proud of it and I'm proud of him. I seen him struggle to get where he is now and he, he made it. He didn't give up, he didn't stop, he kept going. Antoine's motivations come down to the people in his pictures. I, I started this for them, for them. That's his grandson and his son. Oh, do I miss him? Girl, cut his cord. I watched, I watched coming to the world. Yeah, I miss my son. Absolutely. Absolutely. His son died about six months ago. You know, um, he got in these streets and made some bad decisions. And on this Father's Day week. Appreciate that Father's Day. His son's death not only fuels, but focuses Antoine's business mission to help everyone. Because I want to change the element of, of, of just hair cutting, cutting white, black, Mexican, everybody here. I want to be a new element. Especially young men by providing them haircuts and mentorship I mean, through life, work boy. in the community. And let them know there's other decisions we can make out here and have a better life to live. And by me starting this movement here in Indianapolis, I, I promise we're going we gonna to blaze some trails in the city. Working for you, Megan Shin, WRTV.